What the hell, man? Whoa! The f She has a shield? What? He died? Man, this doesn't even feel like Genshin Impact anymore. What is happening? That is nuts! <sighs> I think I should upload a Genshin Impact video. How long has it been? Like a couple of weeks? <gasps> oh, it's been that long. Well, that changes today. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now, I've stayed away from Genshin Impact for far too long, and I know a lot of comments have been popping up on the channel wondering where Genshin content is gone because a lot of you enjoyed it. Like, the Genshin Impact content on the channel done exceptionally well. But there's no surprise there considering how many of you love and adore this game and i want to revisit it and i actually want to continue where i left off finally in genshin impact because i know a lot of you like i said have been asking so in today's video ladies and gentlemen we're gonna see if we can catch up on everything that i missed i haven't watched anything genshin impact or played anything genshin impact for far too long and I want to catch up on all of the new characters, the new areas, new new everything that this game has to offer. And I know there's a lot. So in this video, I'm going to react to as many trailers as I can to get me up to speed on the current goings on in the world of Genshin Impact. So if that gets you excited, you know what to do. Leave a like on this video. And if you're brand new here or returning subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Because I'm going to continue my adventures in Genshin Impact. Now, if you haven't seen or heard about me before, I've done lots of Genshin-related content in the past. I will leave a link to the playlist in the first line of the description below so you can keep up to date with everything that I've covered in the game. I am still very much in the early stages, and I would like to see what else Genshin Impact has to offer me. So, lads, ladies, strap yourselves in because we're diving right back in to Genshin Impact. Okay, so this is the Genshin Impact official YouTube channel. It's going to be interesting to see what was the last Genshin Impact video I watched. So we're going to click into the video section and uh, we're going to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. This is never going to end! So the last trailer I watched was Teyvat Chapter Interlude Teaser, a Winter Nights Lazo. Um, and that was one of the coolest Genshin Impact trailers I watched. Very, very cinematic. Really interesting bunch of characters in a room together. Couldn't really understand the context of what was going on. But that's what this is all about. We're about to find that out together on this Genshin Impact journey. So, let's start off with this. Technically speaking, the Tenryo Commission has no formal position called detective. However, formal or not, Doshin Shikanoin is indisputably the Doshin Shikanoin. That's how you say his name. And every co-worker and criminal he has ever met has come to refer to him as that famous detective. That famous detective. Even the most rigid of rules will bend to accommodate extraordinary talent. And so the young prodigy detective's reputation only continues to grow. I'm on the case. She can nine. To avoid physical she can nine. And prides himself on winning battles with his intellect. However, even he admits that sometimes the martial arts skills that his father made him learn are vital when defending himself in the pursuit of justice. Although cracking cases is a detective's core duty, Hazo believes his true calling lies in preventing would-be criminals from ever committing crimes in the first place. When Shikanoin Hazo is in the party, he reduces sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members, making exploration faster. Hazo's normal attack I'm pretty sure he's not the first character to do that. Animo damage. His charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to perform a sweeping kick, dealing animo damage. That's cool. Bicycle kick. That's awesome. Tap Hazo's elemental skill to wield the swift winds and launch a powerful strike that deals animo damage. Holding the skill charges energy and allows Hazo to obtain up to four stacks of the declension effect. 
the which clinch in the effect. power of the next elemental skill. When the skill button is released, or the skill finishes charging, Hazo strikes forward, dealing animo damage. When Hazo possesses four declension stacks, the conviction effect is produced, further increasing the damage and AoE of the next elemental skill. After unlocking the talent's paradoxical practice, Shigano in Hazo will gain one declension stack when he triggers a swirl reaction on the field. This effect can only be gained once per short period. Strategic use of this effect allows Hazo to quickly gain declension stacks and increase the power of the elemental skill. Sharp investigative instincts enable Hazo to quickly pinpoint the motive and method behind a crime. His sheer brilliance means that many aspire to one day partner with him on a case. When the talent penetrative reasoning is unlocked, after Hazo's elemental skill hits an opponent, the elemental mastery of all other party members is increased for a limited time. Confess! When Hazo unleashes his elemental burst, he leaps into the air and kicks the Fudo That's style cool. vacuum slugger towards the enemy. Very stylish character. Explodes on I mean, what Genshin character isn't stylish? In nearby objects and opponents, and deals AOE animo damage. When vacuum slugger hits enemies affected by hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro, it afflicts them with windmuster iris. Moments later, windmuster iris explodes and dissipates dealing AoE damage of the corresponding elemental type. Vacuum Slugger can afflict a maximum of four enemies with the Windmuster Iris. A single enemy cannot be affected by irises of different elemental types at the same time. Though Shikano in Heizo always chooses brains over brawn, he is nimble and well-practiced in the martial arts of his clan. This, plus his keen sense of battle judgment, makes him more competent at close quarters combat than most imagine. In battle, the elemental skill is Hazo's main means of attack. A smart offensive allows him to rack up declension stacks and unleash a more powerful elemental skill. All when right. energy is full, Hazo unleashes his elemental burst and uses the vacuum slugger to deal animo damage. By effectively coordinating with his teammates, Hazo can afflict enemies with the Windbuster Iris, lowering their defenses while assisting his allies. Alright, he actually seems to be a fairly tactile character to use. For most detectives, finding the truth is the end goal of every case. Once the file is closed and the criminal brought to justice, the satisfied sleuth sits back and congratulates themselves on a job well done. But even a job well done is not enough for Hazo. Finding the truth is good, but finding a way to dissuade criminals in the first place is even better. Is that a baton? If it were anyone else, I would laugh off their delusions of grandeur. Surely no single detective could hope to reduce crime through the sheer weight of their reputation. And yet, in the case of Shikano in Hazo, I find myself entertaining a faint and uncharacteristic sense of optimism. With that said, it is a pity that a detective of his caliber was unavailable to take on the case of the deicide of the God of Contracts. Shikanoin Heizu. Yeah, interesting character, but I've seen a lot cooler. Much better characters have been introduced to already. You're gonna have to do better than that, Hoyoverse, if you want to catch my attention. One thing I always ask myself is how the heck do they manage to fit so many characters into one video game? And how do you remember them all? You know, that's that's another thing. How the heck do you remember all these characters? All right, so moving on, we're on the story teaser, Golden Midsummer, Genshin Impact. All right, so let's see what Golden Midsummer is. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. The Naruto run. Times, I couldn't even see- Katahara Kazuha! Oh my God. I love him. He's one, one of my mains. I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here there is no self, no hatred, no regrets. Breath of the wild desire. vibes from this image. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun. Maybe the whole world can be my home.
This is very cute. I love this artwork. New character? I hope you liked this song. One stormy night. Oh. We all found a way to the future in the library. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. There was a transparent bird made of crystal. I'm loving this. And fragile, this and is cool, man. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. This artwork is S-tier. Holy shite. Light through the dark night. To sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. I, I want more of that, please. Give us, give us more of that, please. As an actual fact, we do have more of that. We have Semru... Oh, no. Semru preview teaser. Oh, maybe... No, this is showing the world... Wait a minute, is this a new area? Is this a new region? How many new areas are there in Genshin Impact now? Gorgeous rainforest, endless mountains. That's cool, man. These new areas are beautiful. What's this now? Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. What's this? There's like Egyptian areas? Oh my god, dude. I'm actually kind of excited to play the game and see what they've added. Okay, so there's another teaser for the areas and stuff. I'm going to skip that because I don't want to really spoil too much of it. There is a promotional video for something. What's this? Everything in this world runs in a loop. Ask for the truth. That's on you to find out. Whoa, dude. Anime. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. What the freak was that? That's cool. I like that. So now we have version three. The mom. The mom. <laughs> the morn. That's what I meant to say. The morn of a thousand roses. Let's see what this is. This is a good six minute long chunker. Before? The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. A great calamity? The sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday. Milu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. The most important performance at the Subzerus Festival. The goddess of flowers began to dance. Countless beautiful Padisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Though we're just tiny people compared Whoa, to the Whoa, what? Is there giants in this now? We do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. 
Loving these new areas. Oh my god. I can't wait for you to see it. Training Forest Major Kali reporting for duty. Kali? She must be a plant based Pokemon. She fighting mushrooms? What? It said that it originates from the depths of the world. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline. All right, showcasing some new characters here. One with the forest. This one is bunny ears. Let's nip that in the butt. It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Luca Devata. You may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. Dory. She's like a genie or something. Oh my god, she's got a lamp and everything. What? Whoa! The fuck? Mark my words, our god shall return. All will suffer retribution together. What what is happening in this game anymore? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? This device, it's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the Divine Knowledge Capsule. The sub Zeru's Festival. Boss? Go celebrate the birth of that god. What's happening? Oh, come on, come on. Our archon created the utopia of this new city for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. It would be too risky to continue the Subzeros Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. We don't have any more festivals to waste. <laughs> are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? The world forget. The morn a thousand roses brings. Whoa. That trailer was awesome. God, they're, they're, they're throwing a lot at us now, aren't they? There's, there's, this, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot in Genshin Impact. Uh, we'd have this new character here. Dear Master, I trust this letter finds you well. Thank you for your kind offer of an academia post, but I'm afraid I must decline. I have taken up residence in the Avidya Forest where I work as a forest watcher. Not an illustrious position, but my proximity to the rainforest ecosystem allows me to research it in great detail. Something is ailing the forest. I'm sure of it. And just as a doctor won't abandon their patients, I will not abandon the forest. You promised me status and reputation, yet I do not care for these. Though if you are amenable, please consider sending some researchers to help investigate this strange phenomenon in the forest. Sincerely, your student, Tainari. Tainari, that's how you pronounce it, okay. <laughs> I always have to wait until they say the name before I realize how it's actually said. Uh, we also have this plant-based Pokemon character, Coley. Coley Sprout. Coley, Col I freaking god damn it. Might as well have been saying colon. I 
Interesting choice of music. Even if it's a life or death situation, I'll never need to rely on their power again. first characters I was ever introduced to. Um, now we have the character Demero. Demero? De I can't speak with all of these names that I'm trying to pronounce out of my mouth. Character demo for Tainari. Let's have a look at his character demo. The sweetwater mushroom has a brown conical cap and a white body. Consuming it may induce delirium. Oh, beautiful mushroom maiden. Like that guy? Mushrooms proliferate very rapidly during the rainy season. Much like these fungi here. On second thought, perhaps these are multiplying a little too fast. Oh. What's he got, like a volleyball or something? Okay, so he's another projectile character. Another archer. Oh, poor little Fungi mushroom. Typically this aggressive. I wonder what's causing it. Could it be a new genetic mutation? Or maybe it's the rain agitating them. Huh? Uh oh. Looks like I'll have to put my research on hold. Giant one. Let's nip that in the butt. Ah, too many mushrooms, bro. <laughs> Has a slightly bitter taste and a distinctive scent. Toxin is mild, but alters the perception of one's surroundings. He was high during that entire trailer? I actually really can't wait to explore these new areas. There's probably so many now since the last time I played. All right, so now we have Genshin Impact Sumeru gameplay trailer. So we're actually going to see this area now with some gameplay intact. Let's have a look. So Sumeru is the rainforest area. Tell you what, it's going to be interesting to boot up Genshin Impact after a year of not playing it. Or more. It's been longer than that, I think. So, I wonder how big of an update I have and how much bigger the map is. This is exciting stuff. If you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. Because my mind is probably going to get blown realizing how much I have to catch up on. She has a lamp. Wait, were they hallucinating?
Pretty hype trailer. Damn. Oh, this is the Egyptian part. Oh, dude. Imagine seeing this for the first time. I'm sure people lost their minds. Oh, so is this in the same area? Oh, so you can find temples. Man, that's exciting, isn't it? We have the collected miscellany for the characters, but I think I'm going to give them a skip. I'm going to keep the trailer short enough. Cutscene, animation, dance of... Yeah, let's have a look at this. This might be interesting to watch. Dance of Sabzuras. Sabzuras? Sa <sighs> I haven't seen anything about this character. Dedicate this to our god. The dance of Subzerus. Subzerus. What's the? You have earpieces. What's that about? Ghost? There's ghosts? Cool. I want to. I want to know more about that character, though. That's what I want to know more of. All right. So we have a character demo for the genie character. Welcome to Dory's Divine Bazaar. Everything you need with service you can rely on. Want to take a nap? Stay dry? See a sumter beast? No problem. With enough mora, you can afford to do anything, even take on the academia. The music is everything that I expected it to be. So is that like the little genie in the lamp? That's really cute. Oh my god, she's wacky and I love it. Mine <laughs> too. <laughs> really cool character. We do have a character teaser for a character called Sino who looks like a pharaoh. What is this? Then it's agreed. You ensure my personal safety and I will share the research materials with you. All this fuss just over some risky research. What are you so scared of? Listen, you don't understand. The Academia makes no compromises. To ensure that knowledge is used correctly, they have dedicated officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. They call them... Matra. <sighs> and their leader, the General Maha Matra, is the most fearsome among them. <sighs> Once he has you in his sights, he won't stop until he's hunted you down. Cut it out. You're giving me the creeps with your ghost stories. Found you. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. A kid? Oh no! That's him! Ah! I 
did you do? Just killed him? Final words, save them for Judgment Day. All right. You had me. You had me there for a little bit, but now you definitely have me. Holy crap. Loving loving the Pharaoh Egyptian vibes. Really? Oh, my God. Speaking of Egyptian, is this Cleopatra? Who's this? Welcome, weary traveler from afar. I'd really love to look into your future with my amber eye, if I could. <laughs> Nights in the desert are cruel. Music. Interesting. Sleep soundly and know that I am watching over you. Candice? She has a shield? Wonder Woman? Right, okay. Yeah, I need to keep watching. I'm really curious now. All right, we have another Egyptian-like character. Or is this... Oh, this is the character the demo for Sino. A new life emerges. In the cycle of life and death, whatever is sown will be reaped. And when the moral order is disrupted... Judgment will come swiftly. What is that? Every soul will be weighed. This path may be. I will follow its course. Who is that? Is that a new enemy? Through me, justice is served. Man, this doesn't even feel like Genshin Impact anymore. This is crazy. Love this. What is this? Another story teaser? Let's have a look. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. 
Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, Ruka the damage Devata. would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. What? How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that... The spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Whoa. Man, the story stuff's getting crazy. All right, so we have another story teaser. This one is The Divine. Honestly, there's no context really for me here with any of these story plots, but I am intrigued. Elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. Oh. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. What happens? Before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. What? He died? They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. Who is this building so up? So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. What? Dude, that character's build-up is insane. <laughs> okay, so we actually have an event cutscene here. Let's have a look. Ballads and Brews event. Some familiar faces in my playthrough, anyway, that's for sure. I do want to stop and say that the one thing that personally puts me off Genshin Impact, and it's nothing negative because it's all positive really, is the sheer amount of content that is constantly being available to Genshin players. That's great. Obviously, that's great for the players and the people that love and play Genshin Impact. But for me personally, it gets extremely overwhelming knowing that there's like so many different characters, brand new areas, new enemy types, and new quests and 
Like, it's a lot, and it stacks, and it stacks, and it stacks, and it stacks. And somebody that's very much a casual player in the Genshin community, and somebody that doesn't exactly have a lot of spare time to play games, it can get very frustrating to know that I'll never, ever catch up. But I need to say to myself that it's not about catching up up it's about enjoying what you're given and just taking it all in in my own time which i do plan on doing when it comes to the genshin content going forward and i'd love to do an odd stream now and again as well just to have the community with me and you guys in the community as well help me help me out giving me tips and showing me how to play the game correctly. Anytime that I've played this game, I genuinely had a really positive experience with it. And I want that to continue. You know, I want to actually spend a little bit of time, play the game in my free time and just enjoy it, you know? Uh, and I know I sound like a broken record. I've said that before and it never came into fruition. But this time, this time I really want that to happen. So with your help and the community's help, I'm sure we can get there. Well, it's just a bit of wind. Take this, crush it. And place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. <sighs> this is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. Very good. That's my boy. Luke. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes. I like it. Razor! Razor! Come on! <laughs> I do like him. Razor is like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> well, that's nice, isn't it? A little bit of an insight into their past. Very, very nice. Like that a lot, I did. Now, one thing to note that there is a lot of trailers that I haven't watched. And I have no intention of watching every single one of them because there's way too many. But I do want to watch any of the ones that really do stand out to me. And so far, I think I've done that. Um, but we still have still have so many to go through here. So let's let's see what else we can watch here today. We have a character teaser for this character that I was interested in doing the dance. To me, Zubair Theater is a home away from home. Cheers! Cheers! How are the props? I did some fixes and touch-ups. Oh, they were great! Thank you so much, Miss Nadia. <sighs> it's over. Now I don't have to hear Mr. Zubair yelling at me every day. Oh, he's just a worry ward is all. Don't lose heart. Everyone loved your performance. Is he wearing a flower <gasps> pot on his head? Hey, get Who's a good doggy, huh? Aw, <laughs> oh, come here. Oh. <laughs> Have you been eating some extra treats? I can barely lift you anymore. Just fat shame the dog. There is a day full of bliss. It's your movement. Some You're more. still Let's not go. getting it. Alright, okay. I'm, sorry. I'm trying, finally. We're done. Without everyone's tireless efforts, this special place wouldn't exist. I 
wish the show could last a little longer. Thank you for coming to watch our performance. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, but not that interesting. I find the other characters that I showed there recently a lot more. Okay, let's watch a character demo and maybe I'll be a little bit more intrigued. Will you the dance you came up with in the desert? <laughs> Slow down. First, close your eyes and relax your body. Then, picture an oasis bathed in starlight. Now imagine that you are the water. Clear and bright. Just like jelly. Who is she talking to? To the world, you're invisible. It never stops to notice you. So you stand up, you leap and twirl, and you show them through dance. Dance of Lotus Light. to boil quiet whispers grow into a chorus of cheers to make ripples in your audience's hearts you have to make a big splash dance with the waves okay very elegant character <laughs> performance went uh, sure do i was practicing with it in the desert oh oh, oh. Work something out <laughs> she's lost it uh let's move on to some new stuff that's version 3.2 i'm gonna watch this version 3.2 akasha pulses the kalpa flame rises imagine this we have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued lesser lord kusanali we have changed sumeru's entire political landscape Huh? Did I just see something dart by? Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. <sighs> Amazing. Whoa, what's going on here? So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. Maida. Layla. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. So. Oh, it's this dude again. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. The Balladeer has already... already become a god? No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. What is happening? Whoa! No, that's a boss fight. Whoa! My endless cycle begins! Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I... 
I must admit that I'm a little scared. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Well, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Brothers! Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with! Wizard, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. Wow! Jeez, this boss fight looks insane! God. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Holy shit! That is nuts! I am glad I watched that! Whoa! I can't wait to get to that point in the game. That's gonna take me literally forever. Dude, that was so freaking cool. God, there's still so many trailers. I might have to do a part two in this, lads. We have a cutscene animation. We could watch that. Oh! Cutscene animation for this boss fight! Yeah, we're watching this. Oh, man! Just got annihilated! Oh, and Did she get squished? This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? What the hell, man? The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? What? What's happening? We just concluded the 168th loop. Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. Huh? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. What? Oh, is that what the earpieces are for? What? Oh my god! <laughs> huh. 
Are you done with your tricks? Can I find this villain this music, though? Holy gods? crap! I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boar. Yo! What a freaking cutscene! That's what I'm talking about. Man, I know that was probably spoilers for story stuff, but I don't care because that was lit. We have a cutscene animation. Let's have a look at this. A dream of falling branches. Under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds, were numerous smaller worlds, all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Oh, that's sad. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer. And I shall return all the dreams to the people. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Oh. All right, so we have a character demo, Layla, Radiant Star. Let's see her character demo. Wait, Radiant Star Rail? I thought that said Star Rail, because it was like Honkai Star Rail. Star Trail. They're always there, oh, watching over us. What's she throwing? Stars? Looks like it. Oh, huh? What are you doing up? Me? Sleepwalking, of course. Okay. Layla's interesting. <laughs> okay, so now we have version 3.3. All senses clear, all existence void. I think this is going to be the last trailer we watch for this video. If we can get something like, I don't know, 2,000 likes for this video, I'll upload a part two sooner rather than later. Um, I'll make the time to record it because there's still a bunch of trailers to watch. So let's finish today's episode with this trailer, see what version 3.3 is all about, and get hyped for another video. Here we go. Word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. 
So please, be sure to exercise caution. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> How was that? Were you scared? <laughs> Who goes there? So, is there really a ghost around here? Why, this time I have a feeling that it's staring right at us. Are you... talking to me? What? Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore! What's happening? In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Wonder. Squall Fury. You dare to gaze upon me? Okay, we have a lot more characters being introduced here. Farazan. I'll definitely do another part to cover everything that I've missed out on and then we're finally going to jump back into Genshin Impact. All right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that is going to be it for today's episode of catching up on Genshin Impact. Everything Genshin Impact. As you can see, I've missed out on a lot of content, almost two years of content of Genshin Impact, and I still can't believe it's been that long since I've touched this game. And I want to revisit it. I want to continue my journey because I was enjoying my time with it. But I want to approach this the right way and I want to just have fun doing it, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys just are happy to see Genshin Impact back on the channel. I promise to do more Hoyoverse related content as well. There's a lot of Honkai Star Rail stuff that I'm interested in as well. And they have that new game coming out, which I believe is ZZZ. Uh, I forget the actual name of it. But I'm just going to call it Triple Z. And that looks like something I'd be really interested in. Because I believe that's a turn-based game. So Genshin Impact is back. And I want to I wanna do it right. And I want to do streams now and again on Genshin Impact. And I want you, the Genshin Impact community, to join me on this venture. So all you have to do is leave a like on this video. And be a subscriber of the channel. Or if you watched my previous Genshin stuff before. And you left the channel because I hadn't done any more. Now is the time to resubscribe to the channel. Because I'm going to put the content out there for each and every one of you to enjoy. And for myself to enjoy as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below your favorite trailer that we've seen today. And let me know your favorite character that you're using currently. I'd like to know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Genshin Impact video. See you later, dudes.